thank everybody. You see, this road has been a major challenge for the entire Sydney West or Sydney. Or uh, everybody who passes this road for a long time. It has been a long time. And when I became an MP, it was one of my goal or my main uh, focus that whatever I would do or wherever I have to go to make sure this road is get done will get done. Uh, since 2013, when I became an MP, and DC was on, in power, was in power. I went everywhere that I have to go, to the president, to the minister, in, uh, minister in But then it okay. was honor, uh, honorable uh, Alassa before uh, honorable Inu Safusini came. All of them, I, I go to them. The party hierarchy, I go to them, so that they also talk on my behalf. Uh, I also brought. MPs, both MPP and DC ministers, deputy ministers, on this road. From Accra? From Accra. Mm. A full bus, like VIP bus. Wow. A full bus. It's a committee, a whole committee. We went all the way to the riverside, Kajiji, uh, Kwajokrom, from Accra. So they saw the bad nature of the road. But then, and DC was in power. So, but then, Honorable Minister, the current Minister, Honorable Mwakwata, who is the minister now was also part of the team that that we came on the road but then he wasn't a minister at that time when we were coming we our car gets stuck at the end of Kwame and so before the senior school there mm -hmm. so we have to stop our exos you know get stuck we have to get to robe and tied it finally it was honorable amakwata who wasn't a minister by then okay. who was able to there was a tractor who was also spoiled around so we were able to get a rope from that tractor. His minister who pulled that tractor, wow. uh, pulled that rope mm. from the tractor and then we tied it. He wasn't minister by then. Okay. So he knew the road. So as soon as government changed power, uh, hands and then MPP came to power and he became the minister, it was advantage on my part. So I went to him, the honorable. You knew this road, we went there. He's honorable, don't worry. I know, I know the road. So I will definitely help you make sure we fix the road for you. So now the contractor is on. They've given it to him for two years, just more. The same contractor that NDC gave it to, he was the same contractor that is doing the job. But to me, the contractor is good, he can do the job, it's money. Okay. It's all about financial aspect. Because whatever contract you are giving to somebody is the source of funding. Okay. If the source of funding is GOG or whatever it is, is slow, then your job also becomes slow. But if it's a loan that we acquire from somewhere, for example, from Kwame Dansu going mm -hmm. to the riverside, that one was Cocoa Road. Okay. So it was the fund that we, we, we get it from the Cocoa. Mm -hmm. So the money was given to the contractor. So he was able to do it fast. Okay. So we are hoping that the finance minister, the road minister, whoever matters, the president himself, the president himself have also come to, to the road. He came here last year mm -hmm. before the election. And vice president too came here. And even Attorney General, the lady, mm -hmm. she also came here. So they all knew the road. So we are, we are pleading on their behalf to come to our aid. Because the way people are robbing, robbing us in this area, teachers, uh, work, workers, farmers, everybody. So now the road has become a threat okay. to all of us. Therefore, we are pleading. We are on our knees. Therefore, it has become an urgent need for me to come to the aid of my people. At uh, Kwame Danso, uh, let's say from Garajima to Kwame Danso, it's so bad. And that's where the armed robbers are robbing us. So for the time being, I have talked to the engineer so that they will do their best to reshape, to cut and fail, where it is so bad so that it can be more trouble for all of us to move smoothly so that has come to my aid because the robbery has too is, is, is too much recently you know we saw what happened yeah. a teacher they just killed him and is that's not the only one there are so many instances that we can refer to uh as then when the road started when it started raining even some road some some cars just cross the road no cars go no car no car come so the, the road gets stuck you can't go anywhere so that's why it has come to my attention that i have to do my best as soon as the passengers get into the car, they started insulting MP. 
you know, so I have to do my best, whatever I can do, so that it can reshape and make that thing smooth or more travel for us. That's why I'm doing this. Okay. Yeah, the engineer, I, I spoke to him. He told me they are going to use 10 days continuous. 10 continuous days so that starting they can... Starting from today. Starting from today. So Friday, that, the uh, 22nd day yes. of the month of May. That's why he told me 10 days. Okay. So if it go beyond, maybe later when you talk and if mm -hmm. it has to go beyond, then we see what we can do. On the assembly matter, you see, me, I've been communicating with the, you know, budget, the coordinator, and all that. But this one is a, a contractor who approaches me. Mm. And you, the media, also approached me. Yeah. And then I say, no, let me take uh, up myself okay. and see whatever I can do. I met the engineer in parliament. We had a meeting. And then he told me what he needs. If I'm able to provide that or do that, they can do the road for us. Okay. So that's what I can say. All what I can say is they should have confidence in me. They have voted for me to be on their behalf, uh, represent them as an MP. So whatever I have to do for them to feel good, if it's not beyond me, I will do my best. You know, this road, people think that is the uh, MP who has to construct it, which of course is not. It's a central government who has to do this because it's expensive, the money involved. MP cannot fund it. But this one that I'm doing is temporary. Okay. Supporting the contractor or the engineers to make it more trouble before the central government comes in. Okay. So they should have confidence in me that I will do whatever I have to do. We have a lot of challenges. When you come to our district, we have water problem. We have uh, education problem, health challenges, roads especially. Look at the main, the, the major highway, yeah. how we are suffering. So if you talk about the feeder roads, then it's no go area. Sure. When it started raining, massa, it's difficult even being, using motorbike to pass it through the even feeder roads is very difficult and very challenging. So they should have confidence in me, pray for me, and give me the maximum support, not to insult. If they don't understand something, they should rather ask so that explanation can be given. We have to educate ourselves. That's what I can say. And I greet all of them. I wish everybody well. That we need prayers, uh, Muslims, mm. the Limams, mm. the Malams, mm. the clergy, the elders, everybody. They should pray in support of the road, especially, and also the peace and the development of the area. Mm. That's why. Uh, well, all what I can say is I wish all of them well. I don't know whoever they are going to choose, but I'm praying whoever will get the nod should have wisdom, should have uh, love for the people, should work closely with the MP and the Assembly or on the, all the stakeholders so that development can move on. 